Africa's largest photo library is the vision of Ghanaian photographer and filmmaker Paul Ninsen, who studied at the International Center of Photography in New York. Me as an advocate of education, um, I wanted to be able to give fellow Ghanaians and Africans opportunities in a space and a place to be able to learn and share our core value and share um, experience and build a community as well. The library, which opened in December, has more than 30,000 books from Ninsen's personal collection and donations from New York's private galleries, museums and bookshops. His goal is to expand the frontiers of African photography, which inspired the name Dinkan, an Asante word meaning take the lead. It was the idea of accessibility, right? How do these materials become accessible to people? It is easy, right, to archive. It's easy to collect. But the most important thing is like, how do these collections become to make impact in people's life and society? Most of West Africa's historical moments were documented by Westerners and archived in libraries of former colonial powers. For Ghana's photographers, the Dinkin Center's library is a milestone. A photo library like this um, kind of exposes the continent to possibility, you know, and for us, uh, it, it makes us take inventory of what is actually being produced from the continent and what is Western, you know. So I think uh, there's a gap and we need to catch up. But I mean, it's really encouraging to see uh, works of Africans within the library and uh, what has been done so far. So you can see the Dinkin Center also features a photo studio, classroom, and exhibition space for established and emerging talents to showcase their works. Ghana's young creatives say they are ready to take up the reins of documenting Africa's past, present, and future. We have to really break down the problems first where we see many of our archives and visual cultures being documented or being presented outside. Um, of the continent. But then when it comes to institutions, we don't really have too many institutions in the continent that are able to actually uphold many of our visual cultures. But I think we're on the right path of really kind of breaking down that narrative that we can actually establish our own. So this is the Ahinye exhibition. Ninsen says Africans should tell their own story in their own narrative um, and hopes the Dinkin Center will encourage more visual libraries to open across the continent. Neko Chile for VOA News, Accra, Ghana.